Good morning everybody, Martina here. Thank you for checking in again. It is Sunday morning. For you it's Monday. And I promised you last week I'm going to show you how I make my chickpea salad for my uh, as a bread for my bread filling. And I do love bread. I make bread all the time. And I'm always on the hunt for the perfect filling sandwich spreads sandwich whatever anything you can put on a sandwich and it's easy to do and fun to make not too much uh, into the calories or anything so um, today I made well I made it last week but uh, what I show you today is my chickpea salad <laughs> I was uh, tempted to call it chickpea egg salad or something fake egg salad but it has nothing to do with eggs. It doesn't taste like eggs, but it feels a little bit like it. And it substitutes an egg salad any time of the day. So I wouldn't even think twice about it. Um, it's super easy to make. If you don't have some ingredients, you just can substitute it with something else. The only thing you really need to have is cooked chickpeas and uh, your favorite pickles. I like dill pickles and this is what I had in the fridge and that's what I used. So because the pickles and the pickle brine gives it such an amazing flavor, you will see in the video. So let's just get going here. I show you what I did and I explain as I go. So I first prepared my onions. I have one onion really fine chopped up and then I'm cutting up my dill pickles. This is just what I had in the fridge and um, I use those. Use your favorite, of course, because you do need to love the brine. So I added, I had three pickles and I chopped them really small, as I said already. <coughs> One always goes in my mouth. So I wanted to, end, I wanted to add some uh, healthy fats. You know, I don't use oils, so I had an avocado in my fridge and I used about three quarter of it. It was a smaller one. And here's my big can of chickpeas. I drinsed, drinsed. I drained them and I rinsed them. <laughs> and I mashed about 80% of it. 80% what that means is it's not like a hummus but it's not like really a coarse chickpea. I wanted just something in between, so which has a little bit bite to it. And I had a jar of fire roasted red bell peppers. And these bell peppers, they're not in oil, they're in water. So I put three in now and then I decided to add more later. So in the end I had five pieces of fire roasted uh, bell peppers. I cannot tell you the weight. It was a small jar. <clears throat> so I guess it were five smaller bell peppers. I mash up the avocado. Of course, if you don't mind using mayonnaise, vegan mayonnaise or anything in that area, you can use that, leave out the avocado, but we don't use that very often. So I decided to use up my avocado. So then I start adding some brine. In the end, I used about five tablespoons. If it's too dry for you, use a little bit more. If you need more oomph to it, use more. Just make sure you don't drown the salad, because then it's not a salad anymore, then it's like a soup. It is super cool to have those jars of uh, fire roasted bell peppers in the cupboard for emergencies or whatever, because they come in so handy. Then I had some olives in the fridge. <coughs> Excuse me. And I have four now, but I added two more later. So six olives. 
And I was just thinking the other day, if you don't have olives, uh, try out capers. That might work out really well too. I love capers. They have also a nice sour kind of flavor. I used to make, in my uh, meat eating days, I used to make a German egg dish. It was hard boiled eggs and then uh, a white creamy sauce with capers and it was a mustard sauce and that would go over mashed potatoes and the boiled eggs. I used to love that so much. So I added my spices, some uh, pepper, smoked paprika, salt this is also a smoked sea salt and some dill don't forget some dried dill it's super easy to dry yourself and there come two more of those peppers <clears throat> because most of it you really have already in the fridge. You have a can of chickpeas in the cupboard. If not, shame on you, you need that. Um, if you have fresh bell peppers, just pop them in the oven or in your air fryer for a while. After it's blackish, <laughs> take the skin off and chop them up and there you have your roasted bell peppers. And I did add some mustard to it. What else did I forget? And I did add some cayenne pepper to it. It needed a little bit more spice. Oh yeah, that looks really, really good. And it was really good. <laughs> what you see in the back is my potato and veggie pokoros. I made that video earlier. So what did I forget? Avocado, onion, olives, pepper, salt, smoked paprika, dill, and cayenne pepper. No, and a little bit mustard. So that's about all. I will list everything in the ingredients underneath. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bake uh, your favorite bread for it or buy it and put it on your bread with a dill pickle on top. And you're gonna love this little sandwich. It's really tasty. It's one of my favorites. You like it. Uh, let me know what you think. I wish you a wonderful week. Stay safe, happy and healthy. And I'm going to see you next Monday. Until then, cheers.